Hello, I'm Andrew Downs, and this is a quick video showing you the Moodle Tincan Launch plugin, which allows you to launch Tincan content from Moodle and track that content into an external learning record store. So the first thing you need to do is get the plugin. Best place to do that is from GitHub. So you can go to this address here, click Download Zip to download the plugin, and put the plugin in your Moodle plugins directory. You then install it in the same way that you'd install any Moodle plugin. Once it's installed, you'll see there's a number of settings within Plugins, Activity Modules, Tincan Launch Link. And you can leave most of these settings as the default. The ones that you're interested in are the endpoint, the basic login, and the basic password. You see the endpoint there matches up the endpoint in your learning record store. And then we've also in the learning record store got a key and a secret. And the key matches up to where it says basic login and the secret matches up to where it says basic password. Make sure you leave the version as 1.0.0 um, and obviously save those changes. These are, these are already saved. Once you've set up the plugin, uh, you can add uh, the activity to the course. Just click Add Activity or Resource and you'll see Tincan Launch Link there. I'm going to cancel that because I've got one I added earlier. We'll click on Edit and Edit that so you can see the settings. There's a name and description like any Moodle module. Then we've got a launch URL. This is where the file actually sits. So you'll see in this case, we're going to launch a golf example that's sitting on my, my local computer. But the file could be anywhere on the internet. It might be on the Moodle server. It might be somewhere else. And then the activity ID is something that's configured within the, the package itself. So if you build a course in Storyline or Captivate or however you build it, there should be some setting for the activity ID and that's what you put there. It won't necessarily be the same as the launch URL, and you'll see that it isn't the same in this instance. There are some advanced settings here. You can basically overwrite the, the central settings, but we're not going to do that. And there's some settings relating to activity completion. So if you've got at, um, completion tracking turned on, we can show activity is complete when conditions are met. And in this case, we've configured it to look for the verb passed. So if Moodle finds the verb passed, this activity ID, and the current learner, it will mark the activity as complete for that learner. So again, I've not made any changes, so I'll just cancel that, but obviously normally you would save that. Uh, and you'll notice here as well, I've got the Tincan Learner Stream plugin installed. That's separate. We're not going to be looking at that in this particular video. So let's turn editing off, and we'll have a look at the course. So we previously launched the course, so we've got a record of our previous attempts. We're going to launch. We can resume from where we previously left off. Click through. I'm actually going to have a go at passing this so you can see the completion working in Moodle. Okay, so let's answer all these questions and get them right. Golf example is quite handy because it tells you the answers. Of course, I would know the answers anyway. So we'll submit answers, and now we have passed the course. We'll save and exit. Yes, we would like to exit. Click Return to Course. And you'll see we've now got a tick to show that we've completed that course. If we go to Watershed and refresh, you can see all the statements we've just done. They're all there, and there's even more there. Um, all those statements have come through since the launch. So that is the Moodle Tincan launch plugin. We launched the course, tracked the data to Watershed, pulled it back into our learner stream, pulled it back into Moodle's completion. Thanks for watching.